Yeah, there was just a, a transition that was beginning in my life. And there was something about this design that I really didn't know uh, whether it was just another one of these great inspirational sculptures or was there more to it than that. I was looking for a project to work on with my son over the summertime and I went into an art supply store and saw a big pile of soapstone and thought, oh, my son's really good with his hands. I'll bring some of that home and we'll, you know, we'll spend the summer together. And so we began carving all summer long, six, eight hours a day, we sculpted. And when he started school in September, I really enjoyed it. And so I continued. The sculptural medium uh, of, of stone is reductive. You're subtracting away what isn't the sculpture. I was discovering aspects of myself that were covered up with behaviors and conditioning that would no longer serve me. I realized that that healing was second nature to peace. So then I became artist for peace. I get invited to uh, co-facilitate a reconciliation project in Germany. Now I was raised Jewish. And I never thought I would ever want to go to Germany. We organized this project as a 10-day reconciliation with Jews and Germans getting together in Germany and having this um, basically a, a healing. When I got there, I was just with other human beings. And when I heard their story, my heart melted the suffering that all of us carried around war. I met my wife Lisa there, and we've been married now for almost 13 years. When I came back from that, I began a series of sculptures that I uh, originally called attunement. And when I looked at it, it reminded me of a tuning fork. And then that represented to me this dialogue that I was having with these Germans, that we were there attuning. And even though there was this gap, like the divide of humanity because of cultural war or any other differences, we are connected in the body. I was sitting very quietly one morning and I began to witness thoughts arising and spiraling back from silence back to silence again. And as a sculptor, I thought that would make an interesting design. And it has evolved now to this design here, uh, which I call Holos. And this infinite design, to me, represents a symbol for our one humanity. After 20 plus years of sculpting really heavy designs, my body was failing me in 2014. Asked uh, my wife Lisa if, if I could surrender my life as a sculptor for something new, something that I could serve that was much greater call. So I had this vision. The vision was that I could generate my city being a city of peace. Just from the work that I can do here. And that if my city could do that, then any city could do that. And so I envision people becoming ambassadors for peace and bringing about their cities into this state of cities of peace. So all of this body of work that I refer to as art for peace is now moving me forward 
into um, a peace builder. And I'm very happy to say that on April 14th, 2015, our mayor, Mayor Lara of Ojai, declared Ojai an international city of peace. And since then, more and more of my friends from around the country are asking me to mentor them so that their cities can begin building a culture of peace. We might feel separate, but we're all essential to the whole. We're all connected at the source.